Hello, I'm Sarah, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the fireworks in a jar experiment today. So it's a really fun experiment, and I'm excited to show you guys. Um, for the experiment, what you're going to need is a jar. You're going to need some sort of bowl or container. You're going to need oil. I'm using vegetable oil, but you could use um, olive oil too if you have that. And then you're going to need something to stir um, the jar with. And then you are going to, I mean the bowl. And then you're going to need food coloring. I have the neon colors, but um, if you have, uh, you know, regular or whatever colors, it's not going to matter. And the first thing you're going to do is fill the jar um, with water. Mine's already filled, but um, yeah, you want it to be like room temperature or maybe a little warm water, but you don't want it to be super hot or um, cold. And then the next thing you're going to do is pour the oil, a small amount of it, into the container or jar. So I just kind of barely filled the bottom with it. And then from there, you're going, want, you're going to want to add about two or three drops each of the food coloring. You don't want to add too much, so it will kind of make the experiment go a little too quickly. So I'm going to add about... Um, two or three, so that we can really see the color spread. Because if you add, you know, too many drops, it'll just kind of go black, which is not what we want. So, here you go. You can kind of see it's like dots in the water. It doesn't mix because the um, food coloring doesn't dissolve in the oil. So, but we are going to try and break up the big clumps with the fork so that's what I'm doing now is just breaking up the big clumps so we have a lot of small little dots which is what we want okay so you can kind of see my dots um in that oil so it's like little pockets of color in the oil that are going to kind of spread out into the jar when we get our little fun experiment so to see it happen, you're going to very slowly pour in and carefully pour the um, container contents into the jar like this. And then from there, you can kind of see, can you see this? You can kind of see the colors are going to start breaking down into the jar. you'll get this kind of fun color effect. Oh wow, it's cool over here. It's kind of like a rainbow effect. So the reason you're getting this is because um, the food coloring is going to be dissolving in the water, but um, the oil doesn't. So as you can see, like the oil still at the top, it's kind of done now, it's already all combined, but um, the food coloring is going to dissolve into the water because it's more dense and then it's going to mix with it, but the oil is lighter and it's not mixing with it, so it just stays on the top, so that's why you get the fun effect, the little color um, blotches kind of dropping in. This one black quicker, so if you don't want it to go black as fast, you just put in less of the colors. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that and I hope you have fun making your own.